Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Cut. Today we are still covering the basics and yesterday we showed you how to connect your Vinyl Cutter to Vinyl Master and today we're going to show you how to vectorize an image in Vinyl Master. Vinyl Cutters can only cut vector format file graphics so we need to convert an image to a cuttable format and every single version of Vinyl Master that we offer here at uscutter.com comes with this feature included for free. For this example we're going to be using a .png file with a transparent background to create a single color vector image. I'm just going to drag and drop my image onto the Vinyl Master program and then click my mouse to place the image into my design area. With my image selected, I then want to move up to the upper toolbar and then click the Vectorize button right here. It will only appear if you have an image selected that can be vectorized. This is going to open up the vectorization window and it's going to automatically start a scan of the image. Once the scan is finished, you should have a split screen with the original image on the left side and then a preview on the right side. We have plenty of options here on the vectorization menu, but I'm going to keep this quick so we're only going to go over the basics here. The main ones that you want to mess with are going to be these sliders found here. And then down here we have the number of colors shown on the image. For the sliders, you can adjust the smoothness around the edges how sharp your corners are, and the level of detail, in other words, like tiny little specks or things like that, with these sliders here. Each time you do adjust it, you will need to trace the image again to see the result. Down at the bottom is the most important, and that's the number of colors. You may notice that I have the number 2 selected here, and there's a red X over the black. That X means that it's not going to show the black, and I can add or remove the red X by right-clicking it. Because we are converting pixelated images over to a vector format, you may run into something like this from time to time. And because I have a lot of different colors in it that you can't see, when I do vectorize it and I have two colors selected, I've got a blank screen like this. To fix this, you want to try to add other colors to it. And as you can see, when I turn it up to three, I've got it right here, and then I can right click to remove the colors I don't want. Once I'm happy with my image, I'm then going to click trace for it to trace it a final time and then hit accept and it's going to have my vector image here in my design space. I can resize it, I don't have to worry about any pixelation, and it's ready to cut. Now let's take a look at the multicolor design and how to vectorize it. I've already dragged and dropped my image in and it's a JPEG image with a solid black background. If you ever see me in a trade show, I'll be more than happy to make you this shirt. So just like last time, we want to select our image and then click the vectorize button in the upper toolbar above. This image has a lot of colors, so I'm going to be increasing the amount of colors until I'm happy with the preview. And it looks like 6 is the magic number for this one, although I don't need a white layer. Go ahead and click the trace button, and once it's finished, if I'm happy, I'll click accept. Congratulations, we just vectorized a multicolor image in Vinyl Master. In tomorrow's video, we will continue covering the basics, but we're going to be showing you how to load and cut your first piece of adhesive vinyl. So be sure to check that out if you're just getting started or thinking about getting a vinyl cutter. If you like what you saw today, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.